Holy brick building Batmobile Batman. Here's your look at the Lego set 76188, the Batman classic TV series Batmobile. The Lego Batman Classic TV series Batmobile gives kids all the style, action, and excitement of the original 1966 Batman TV series. The iconic vehicle is packed with cool features and attaches to a rotatable stand. Being, I'm sure by now you guys are rather familiar with how tall a Lego minifigure is, we're going to bypass the measuring of both Batman and the Joker and get right instead into the review of the classic TV series Batmobile, which in case if you are curious was 345 pieces and took the gentleman that's behind the camera currently about an hour to put things together. Now, before you say that may seem like that took a lot longer than it needed to be, keep it in mind as well, usually when I am putting together Lego sets, I'm watching something on TV, or I'm usually watching a movie. I think I probably was watching a movie. If I wasn't doing that, probably could have built this in about half that amount of time. That being said, let's get a closer look at the minifigures that come included with this set. We'll start first with a classic-looking Batman. It's a bit puzzling, in fact, actually, that we get ourselves a classic TV series Batmobile, and yet we don't get a Robin. I would have thought that Robin and Batman would have been the prime minifigures that come included with the set, not necessarily the fact that I'm faulting a Cesar Romero Joker, because I really like the look of that figure, but it seems strange that they wouldn't have put Batman and Robin with this set. Anyways, getting a closer look, though, at classic Adam West Batman here. I love the look of the cowl here, especially the way they've painted in the eyebrows, similar to the original series. He does have a cloth cape, which is something I'm glad to see that LEGO minifigures are now doing. Back in the day, I think they used to be more like a plastic material. Fabric seems so much better. This one does have an alternate, fa alternate face printing. There's the default that I went with. And there's also this one here too. Not really sure which one I would go with. For the time being, of course, you know I went with this one. I may change things up in a little bit. I don't know. You can see that he does have his classic gray outfits with his blue underoos, blue boots, and blue gloves. Nice look of the utility belt there as well. It has a nice gold metallic finish to it. And you can also take the cape and flip it up. And there is also back printing that they've done to the figure as well. So nice looking Batman. He does come with a couple of accessories. I say a couple, they're all basically the exact same. He comes with a whole bunch of Batarangs. Not that I would be expecting something different from Lego, but you know, this is the same Batarang we get all the time. It would have been really neat if they had somehow crafted... Again, I have to keep in mind that they would still have to be able to fit into their clamp hands. But if they had come up with a more, I don't know, classic-looking Batarang, I think that would have been a nice touch as well. Batman gets three of these, so in case you do lose one, and then in case you lose the second one, you at least get three possible Batarangs that you can lose. So there's Batman, a nice-looking minifigure. Strange again, like, no Robin. In his place, however, though, we get ourselves a nice-looking Caesar Romero Joker. A touch of detail I certainly would have been angry if they had left out. They actually did put the mustache in. Cesar Romero was really dead set against the idea of shaving his mustache because that was his thing. That was what he was known for. So he essentially just painted over top of it. Like a while they didn't necessarily paint over top of an existing mustache, they did put little dash marks there indicating that that was where his mustache is. Now this one does have the reverse face printing. Again, we'll just take off the hair the head and just put that back on and that's what the alternate looks looks like kind of like this one to be honest i don't know at least there's choices available i was like when choices are available let's go ahead and pop that back off put that back on there we go you can see as well he's got the more lighter colored pink joker outfit that he has in the series now he does also come with his own accessory not something i certainly would have expected but he comes with like a little grapple hook I personally would have given this to Batman myself, but Batman didn't really have a grapple hook, so never mind. It's just strange to see Joker coming included with this. Like a gas gun would have, I think, made more sense. I guess you could technically just remove the hook altogether. and Maybe even just replace this. I don't know. 
not really sure what I, what I would replace that with. I wonder if you could actually take a Lego minifigure hand. I'm spending now time doing something I really wasn't planning on doing. No, I was just curious if you could actually have, not that that's a punching bag hand, but, or punching glove hand. So he does come with a gun. I guess the reason why they probably put the hook on the end of it so it didn't look like he actually just had a gun. So there's the Joker. Okay. So now that we have a look at the minifigures, let's move on to the territory of the classic TV series Batmobile. And as soon as I saw that this was announced, I did take some time eventually then picking it up. I'm just recently now getting this. It's a slightly older set, but I'm really, really happy that I it was able to find this over on Lego's website. An interesting thing that comes included with the Batmobile is a display stand. I don't know if I'm familiar with any other time a Batmobile has come with a display stand. If there is a case, certainly let me know down below in the comments section. But it gives you some interesting stats of the 1966 Batmobile. Oh, let's just put that back in. This always falls off. Let me just maybe hold it this way. There we go. The length was 18 feet, 9 inches. The width was 7 feet. Acceleration was 0 to 90 miles per hour in 5.2 seconds. Maximum speed was 350. Probably not right. Fuel, bat fuel, I like that. And engine was 390ci, a V8. This was a sticker, by the way, that just applied over top of a kind of ramp piece of Lego. And it only really attaches by two pegs. See on the back there. So if sometimes you are picking this up, it does fall apart. But the thing that it does, though, it has a spinning turntable to the front of it. And what you do is you take the Batmobile and you flip it upside down. And underneath, you attach this part to the Batmobile... And it actually attaches to the display base. I think that's rather clever. You're just taking, basically taking that post and putting it into the hole there. And providing you get everything out of the way of things, you've got yourself not only a Batmobile on a, on a table, but a turntable. You can actually spin the Batmobile around. I think that's a really nice touch. Now, of course, for my purpose, I'm probably not going to be displaying with a display stand, but I certainly do like the fact that Lego threw that in there. Let's get a closer look at the Batmobile. I do want to tell you that there are two other things. You'll probably see them sitting down right here now. There's two configurations for the Batmobile. While I was initially building this set, I went with the first configuration because that's the way the instructions give you. That configuration involves the flick fire, flip fire missiles that actually go right here. Now, when you are building the Batmobile, the instruction will give you this configuration where you attach them to the front. I thought it was a, big, a bit of an eyesore until I realized later into the instruction manual, which I guess really should have showed you, the instruction manual came, came included with this as well. But uh, there was a configuration then later into the instructions where you can then take then those cannons, those front guns off, and replace it instead with smoother, flat pieces of Lego instead. I prefer the flat look myself, simply just because they, there wasn't any guns on the Batmobile on the, in the actual 66 series. Here's, by the way, the there's the configuration right there, so you can see the difference between the two. I guess they had to put something in there to have to fire... You know, the flick-fire missiles are always things they want to incorporate into the sets. And even though the 66 Batmobile never really had that, I guess it made some sense that they wanted to put that in there. But while you are building it, it's the first... Well, it's not quite the first, but it's the first configuration they'll give you until you get to the very end of it, and then they'll tell you, oh, there's another way you can do it. You can take off the pieces. Let's get to that step right there. Uh, there, okay, so there's the flick fire missiles. There's the display stand. And then it shows you an alternate way to then take those cannons off, pop them off, and you replace them with flat panel pieces to give you this look right here. I guess I would have not known that until I got to the very end of the instruction manual, but I really wish I would have known earlier because I probably would have just, again, left them completely off. Essentially what it is is just, again, those flick fire. Oh, they pop off. They fire across the room. You're never going to find them. Never, ever going to find them. But you get a couple of those. And like I said, I just took those right off and I replaced it with the flat panel pieces because I think I just, it looks a lot more finished and a lot more like the classic Batmobile. So it does have a two-seater setup. Of course, Batman would be in here. You really wouldn't, wouldn't want to put Joker in here. So again, you will eventually have to probably track down a Robin. A Robin was sold in a separate set. May just eventually pick that up so I can get myself both Batman and Robin sitting on the inside of the Batmobile. Let's go ahead and get Batman inside the Batmobile. So we're just going to go ahead and fold his legs up. 
I'm keeping his arms out just because that way it's a lot easier to get it around the steering wheel. And then we're going to go ahead and take the figure. His cape's probably going to hang out a bit and just tuck him inside the Batmobile. Cape hanging out, boy, I wasn't kidding. I can always tuck that in afterwards. Getting a closer look at the details on the inside of the car. Of course, you've got the steering wheel. It would have been nice if they had given him an actually different shaped steering wheel. I think in the, the original series, it was sort of like a, well, it was like a bat shaped steering wheel. It would have been nice if they actually had done that. On the other side, though, so empty, it seems, without Robin actually sitting inside there. But minus the boy wonder, at least it gives us an opportunity to see some stickers I applied. The inside, the center screen, is for the rockets. The screen closest to where Robin would be sitting. There's the monitor. It just says monitor. One thing you will also see, in between the two passengers, really one of the passengers, there's the red phone. The fact that they even included the red phone is a really nice touch. Now, like I said, there are some stickers that I applied. Stickers on the doors, stickers on the front, kind of giving us that bat nose thing that they had on the front of the Batmobile. And then there were also some stickers that I applied to the back of the wings and also the back section. Yes, he does have, or the Batmobile does have, the bat parachutes. The only thing that's missing is the parachute pickup truck that comes afterwards to pick up all the fallen parachutes. But the fact that they actually put that on the back, a nice touch. I didn't put it on the straightest of ways. I actually had to peel one off and put it back on. But the fact that at least they put that on there is a nice touch. Surprisingly, the only place that didn't require stickers were the hubcaps. Specifically, the Bat logos. These were already printed on. And you actually get another one of these. Where did I put it? Oh, it's right over here. You actually get these and you just have to get an extra one of these. So I might want to maybe put that not drop it at least, but pick that up and may want to maybe use that for another Batman set or maybe find a place somewhere on the Batmobile where I can make use of it. Things, other things that you would see from certainly this series, you got like that laser scope thing. I think they used it in an episode or two with a blow through a wall, it sort of shoots a laser out. Of course, you've got the siren there along the top. There's this hook at the back, which I don't think serves a purpose. It, I don't think it attaches necessarily to anything. And then on the back, you've even got the Bat Rockets. Again, why do I feel the need to add bat in front of everything? But I think this actually shot the bat line that went up the wall. And of course, the Robin and Batman would be able to scale up that. A nice little touch that they also did for the Batmobile is in the back, there's actually a trunk. You can open that up. And while it doesn't hold anything necessarily, you probably could take some bat gadgets. Actually, you know what? Let's grab a couple of these batarangs. He certainly has enough of these and just throw them into the trunk for the time being. And that just closes up. A nice finished top trunk there. It's a really nice looking Batmobile all around. It's got still the red trim all the way around the side. You could say in some cases it kind of looks more orange than it does red. Lego instead just went the route of going red. But it looks nice and finished all the way around. It's a very smooth looking Batmobile. It even has the wings that would fan out just a little bit. You can bring those out too. I guess I probably should have maybe brought them just a little bit out instead of having them straight out. But these are all also on hinges so you can just angle those out if you want to get the desired look that you of course want again the only thing that's really missing from this set is a boy wonder but i guess if we were going to trade up the boy wonder for at least another minifigure the fact that we do get ourselves a caesar romero joker is really a nice touch i think there were a couple of the 66 series batman sets available that lego had put out one of which did in fact come include with robin i think it was robin and the penguin so i'm probably going to be next picking up that set so at least then not Joker's going to be sitting in the passenger side, but at least we could get the boy wonder properly sitting in the Batmobile like he did in the original series. So in the end, you've got yourself a pretty sweet 60s looking Batmobile. The only complaint I could have made that was rectified later as I got to the very end step of the instruction manual, I didn't really like having the guns on the top of the Batmobile just because the original 60s series didn't have those. You got to the very end of the instruction manual, mind you, and then they tell you, oh, hey, by the way, if you didn't like having it that way, there's a secondary configuration. You basically just have to take a few panels off, remove the guns, and then you just replace it with smooth bits. I don't know if I would have liked getting it to the very end of the booklet to realize that. It would have been nice maybe if getting to the point where they added the guns in the pages of the instruction book probably would have been a good time to also say, oh, FYI. Yeah, if you don't like it that way, you can also go the smoother brick route instead. I didn't really like having to get to the very end of the instruction manual to find out that that was the case. No harm. 
No foul, it just involved me having to pull off a few extra pieces, but at least it gives you a much more finished looking Batmobile. Well, it's almost finished. The only thing that's really lacking in this set is, of course, the Boy Wonder. Robin is something I'm going to have to track down separately, but I think it was a set available that was with, I want to guess, Penguin. I think it was a Penguin set that came included with Robin. Probably going to be picking that up, so at least I can fill in the passenger side with someone other than the Joker, because it doesn't make any sense. I'm going to have Batman and Robin inside the Batmobile, and Joker's going to get away while the Batmobile has lost its wheel. And Batman apparently doesn't smell, just in case anybody was curious. Speaking also of uh, curiosity, I like also the fact that they give you a turntable with a nice little placard on the front of it. Tells you all the little necessary details about the original 60s Batmobile. Exaggerating some of it, of course. The Batmobile really couldn't go, what was it, 350 miles per hour. In actual fact, the original Batman, uh, the original 60s Batmobile was so sluggish that they had to speed up a lot of the footage while it was on the road, so it looked faster than what it actually was. Batman doesn't smell. Joker's still getting away, and as far as I know, I'm just looking around. No, the Batmobile has not lost its wheel. The only thing it's lost right now is the Boy Wonder. I'm hopefully going to be rectifying that with a upcoming pickup. What do you guys think of the 60s Batmobile produced here by LEGO? Let me know down below in the comments section whether you picked the setup for yourself or just based on this review. Also, if you're new here and you're enjoying all the content you're seeing and you agree that Batman has never smelled, despite what the Joker is telling people, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit that bell notification and make sure that, yes, you're coming back to this channel on a regular basis because there will, in fact, be more Lego reviews lined up and coming your way. And as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.